Greeted by a smaller media scrum than his predecessor, Gordon Brown entered at the front door, making a point. Low-key from the start, no wonder Mr Brown decided to testify before the election. Like in 2003 when he said this... You would have behaved in an identical way to Tony Blair faced with the same circumstances. Yes. Again, he trotted out the same in front of Chilcot's panel today. This is the gravest decision of all, uh, to make a decision to go to war. I believe we made the right decision for the right reasons. Of course, he wasn't going to say it had all been a mistake. The key to his testimony was funding. After all, his hand was on the pen that wrote the cheques to go to war. Protesting families wanted answers. Inadequate vehicles and equipment, they say, led to deaths. These snatched Land Rovers, the evidence tells us, cost 37 soldiers their lives when encountering roadside bombs. The Prime Minister claims he never restricted the cash flow. I would not try to rule out any military option on the grounds of cost, quite the opposite. He, he should feel free because this was the, the right uh, course of action to discuss the military option that was best for our country and the one that would yield the, the best results. The former head of the British Army's staff, General Sir Richard Dannett, acknowledged that he may have spent money, but he says it was unwisely done. Well, if you think of this urgent operational requirement money as being like petrol that goes into a car, the petrol was available in supply, but the car was the wrong car. Dannett points out that defence inflation is much higher than the normal inflation, and that means the year-on-year -year value of money the defence budget gets is vastly reduced. For the parents of British troops who died in Iraq, today's line of questioning neither taught them anything nor satisfied them. I haven't forgotten what Gordon Brown was in 2003 when he was a Chancellor, Chancellor of the Exchequer and he failed British soldiers who went to Iraq when he slashed the budget for all their equipment and everything else. I don't feel he's answered anything really in truth. I don't really feel like we've got any more further forward than what we were before. I want to know if vehicles were requested and if so, why they weren't in place. Leaving the QE2 centre at just gone three, Chilcot's panel had failed to grill the Prime Minister on the subjects that mattered. After spending 20 minutes of his lunch break talking with bereaved families, the afternoon session on Iraq security would have felt somewhat like a damp squib. The smile on Brown's face as he left said it all. An election's on the way. He's had a lucky escape.